Hi all folks, this is Max from ZetoMax.com and AndroidDummies.com. Today we'll be building our own DIY home security camera system with a bunch of Android phones and a Galaxy 10.1 tablet. Now let's get on to it, shall we? First, you'll need multiple Android devices. They can be smartphones or tablets. I've got three Android smartphones here that will be monitored on my Android tablet. Second, make sure you're connected to your home Wi-Fi, not 3G or 4G. Next, you'll want to go to each of your Android phones, go to the market, and search for IP Webcam. Download IP Webcam app, install, accept and download, wait, wait, and wait, and wait, until it installs. Once it finishes installing, open up the app and you can set it up however you want with login and password, but for this purposes, I'll just start the camera. And once you start the camera, the IP address will show up on the bottom. Please make a note of this. Next, you can hit the actions button and make it run in the background. Okay. Once you've got all of your phone set up, you can swipe down and note the IP address for each of your phones. And this is my second phone, 192.168.2.115. So for my Nexus S, mine is 192.168.2.112. Next, go to the tablet or any device you want to monitor and open up market. Then, go search for Tiny Cap. Tiny Cam. Like that and install the tiny cam monitor app for free this tiny cam app monitor will allow you to monitor all of your android smartphones that are acting as ip webcams once tiny cam installs open it up and skip all this stuff say no and no and you'll come to this screen. Next, you'll want to hit manage cams and say no, I mean yes. You'll want to add your first camera, so hit edit camera name. And here I'm gonna enter the name of my Android smartphone. My first one is Droid 2. Hit OK. Then hit choose camera vendor and go find IP webcam for Android. You're almost done. Go to edit host name and type the IP address of your Droid 2 or the Android device you set up IP webcam earlier and do it right. And if you do it right, you'll see pinging and say OK, thumbs up and hit the back button. Let's add more cameras. Hit that add camera button. We're going to edit camera name and put in the next Android smartphone. This one is going to be the Evo 3D. And hit OK. And choose camera vendor. And go to IP webcam for Android. Alright. And hit edit host name. And you're going to edit and enter the IP address of the Evo 3D you got earlier. It's on the screen if you don't know. And it'll say OK. And let's go another camera. Let's add our final and last camera. The Nexus S. You can keep doing this for all the cameras you have. And choose IP webcam for Android. Or you can even just add one camera. Enter the IP address of the Nexus S now. 192.168.2.112. Don't be so serious. Now you're going to go hit the back button twice. Once. Another time. And hit live view. And your cameras will load up here slowly. You're almost done. Now move your Android phones around. Make sure it's working. 
that's my Nexus S, and that's my Evo 3D, and the next one is a Droid 2. Alright, we're all ready to rock. Next, you're gonna go set up your webcam everywhere, like I did here, behind my office, in front of my office, and from the side of my office on the WD-40. And once that's done, you can take your Galaxy Tab 10.1 everywhere, and smell my B.O., and smell the victory. Whoa, a bit laggy, but it all working. Oh yeah, thumbs up for the Evo 3D. Nexus S and the Droid 2. How cool is that? Subscribe to my channel. Now you can set up a DLI home security camera. Whoa! Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot. Next time I show you how to see your webcams from anywhere in the world using dynamic DNS. Hit that subscribe button, I know it's annoying, yeah.